Hi, animation fans. You might have heard that last week, Adobe added a new application to their Creative Cloud Suite called Adobe Animate CC. So what is Adobe Animate? Well, long story short, it's the new version of Adobe Flash Professional. So why the name change? To understand that, we have to back up a little bit. For a long time, Flash has had a generally negative reputation in the tech community. It's been associated with tacky websites, obnoxious banner ads, and rampant security issues. And when the iPhone appeared in 2007, Apple didn't support Flash in their mobile browser, and Steve Jobs has openly bashed it and declared it would never be supported on Apple devices. The expectation was that websites would shift away from Flash to open standards like HTML5 and WebGL, which is what has been happening. But wait! These issues are all with the Flash Player, the web plugin, not with the Flash Animation application, which Adobe started calling Flash Professional to try to distinguish it from the Flash Player. As I pointed out in my Flash Animation tutorial series, available at bloopanimation.com, Flash can be used to produce animations for a variety of outputs, including HTML5 and WebGL. In fact, Flash Professional has been one of the best tools for authoring HTML5 content for years now. Unfortunately, it seems most web designers won't even give Flash Professional a second glance, all because of that darn name Flash and all the negative associations they have with it. So Adobe decided the name was what had to go. Hence, their new program, Adobe Animate CC. So does this mean Animate isn't really anything new? Just a different name? Well, sort of. The interface and tools are the same as Flash Professional, but it is a new version of the application with some cool new feature additions. In addition to a bunch of technical improvements that make it easier to make HTML5 content, there are also some improvements that should get animators excited. You know how traditional 2D animators always worked on those rotating light tables that let them turn their drawings to any angle? Lots of drawing programs, including Photoshop, let you do this as well. And now, finally, you can do it in Adobe Animate. Trust me, a rotatable canvas makes drawing a lot easier. The drawing tools themselves have been improved, making drawing in Animate faster and smoother. They've even added full Illustrator-style vector art brushes, which makes it much easier to give your animations a more expressive quality. Ever start using a color in an animation and then realize you want to change it? Well, now you can tag your color swatches, which allows you to alter that swatch's color. The color will be updated everywhere you've used it throughout your project. Now that you have all these cool custom brushes and color sets, you probably want to save them. Now you can use the Creative Cloud libraries to sync your art assets across computers and share with other people on your team. Once you start animating, you'll notice the onion skinning has also been greatly improved with color coding, making it much easier to distinguish frames going forward from frames going back. You can also now easily change the resolution of your projects. The artwork can be scaled along with the stage. This is an easy way to update old projects. And finally, when it comes time to export as a video, you can select any custom resolution that you want, including 4K resolutions and higher. Those are the main new features that got me excited, but check out the full release notes for more information. So what do you think? Is the name change going to be enough to get web designers to use Animate? Are these feature additions enough to help Adobe compete with other animation applications like Toon Boom Harmony? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and click here to subscribe to Bloop Animation for all kinds of great videos.